Ladies and gentlemen, unless you're driving, put your hands together for the one, the only, Raheem Edwards, everybody! Good, man. Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Just here, enjoying the L.A. sunshine. <laughs> Being from the great white north is enjoying the weather. Yeah, Actually, you let know, me ask you about that real quick, because I saw you posted something on your Twitter. You, I don't even know what it was, but someone came at you hard. The next response was like, we get it. You're American now. Yeah, that's the funny thing. That was actually my girlfriend making a little joke at me. <laughs> I'm not a Greek guard, right? So I always joke around with her. And my son is actually from, from the United States. So I joke around with her like, yeah, we're American. You're Canadian. You have, you have, you have no need for you. This joke around <laughs> That's uh, it. You done with the free healthcare now? Yeah, I know. Come get your I cheap wanna... cell phone service. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. American it's... American cell phone companies are the best. Man. <laughs> yeah, let uh, you know. You uh, obviously from uh, from Toronto uh, and and played for uh, several clubs uh, in MLS already. Some you know you played for Montreal. You played uh, Chicago, uh, Minnesota. Uh, the you know you're used to cold cities, yeah. Right? yeah. And now that you're in California, it, it does feel. This is the problem with in, in LA, especially. There is a, a little bit of a feeling of like um, this. This isn't right. This isn't fair that we have. Like, is it like this all year? <laughs> it's just not fair the, the, I be, I'll be driving on the highway and then after I'll just be looking at the scenery it's like this is not real <laughs> it, looks like I, it looks like I'm in a simulated game like it's like the mountains and the, uh, the houses on the hills I was, I'm just driving like god this place is amazing like, I, like it is almost in disgust like this place is too good like it's amazing man LA is LA is LA's for real for real the first time I took that drive from LA to San Diego I almost got in a car accident because I spent the whole time looking at the brakes. I'm just here looking at, oh, hit the brakes. Like, it's amazing. I know. Dude, my I know. Wife, wifey fell asleep, and I woke her up. I'm like, you need to see this. We're driving through a postcard right now. It's unbelievable. You're saying real. It's unbelievable. Especially, like, around, like, 7 p.m. evening time when it's, like, the, the, the sun's starting to set, and you just see all the hills on the hills and mount. Like, it, it really doesn't look real to me. Like, it's just every day. Every day I'm in awe. Every day I'm in awe. Every day. Every day. Makes you want to wear like linen and drink wine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and a cigar. I have a cigar. I have a cigar. I a cigar too, man. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. The weather's incredible. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I mean, Raheem's, even though your jacket now, the fabric looking soft. Listen, okay. listen. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was, it was, I'm, I'm, sorry guys. I'm Cal, I'm, I'm Celsius. I'm not Fahrenheit. So I might, it might sound weird to you guys, but it was seven to, it was supposed to be 17 degrees Celsius all day today, cloudy. But every time I trade, after after I trade, doesn't matter. It goes to twenty five degrees, sunny as hell. Yeah. So sometimes I dress like, okay, it's gonna be cold after training. Now, nah. now nah, I'm here yeah, sweating yeah. buckets. But you know, <laughs> it's so, so funny because I our hear producers that producers told us that sixty. You're so Canadian that that's hot for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. I hear, you're but like I hear, sixty. Should I be out here in a speedo? I, I hear mean, seventeen. <laughs> I hear 17 degrees Celsius. I'm like, is that the inside of a volcano? I don't know what that is. <laughs> we don't know what Celsius means. Yeah, Celsius. So like, yeah, 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 yeah. Or someone's melting steel. I, what's happening at 17? But you, know, the, you know, the funny thing is, just yesterday, where I'm from, Toronto, they, they, they got snow. Like, there's literally legit snow on the ground. You know, so it's just like, it's mind-blowing. Like, thinking, like, I was there a month ago, two months ago, and it's like, it was getting nice, but now it's snowing. Like that's Canada for you. Like you get all weather throughout <laughs> yeah. throughout the whole year, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I mean we we went there for uh, the the MLS Cups that in the, in the recent years. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the first time it was, was 2016, 2016 uh, when we were yeah. there. Yeah, yeah and yeah. we we uh, we were we got it was the first time we, we ever got press credentials. And while we were there, we were like, "All right, we'll be inside the the box." And bro, with we the press, dress nice. We dress you know? comfortable, oh, nice. as classy as two comedians can go. <laughs> oh, okay, and then said, and then we get the there. Exit. We're outside the. We're in the. We're in the top seats. We're in the top <laughs> seats. We're outdoors. I mean, it is uh, it is under twenty degrees Fahrenheit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like suits and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, no. it was. No, they must have thought, man, these two people in the press box are really excited because we were hugging. We were trying to warm each other. <laughs> it was uh, absolutely crazy. I, I do want to talk about be, being from Toronto. We've had uh, uh, obviously a, a couple players, uh, just Canadian players, yeah. and there is a especially uh, the, the the Toronto area. You know, we always hear, especially like Brampton, right? And, yeah, and, and Brampton. Certain areas. Mississauga, right? Miss That's where you from, Mississauga. Yeah, Mississauga. Yeah, Mississauga. <laughs> I, no, I, 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 I,
I know but, the nickname is Saga, right? Yeah, Saga. Saga is the nickname. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but th there seems to be a, a a real culture, a real identity. I think that the people want to represent, uh, you know, Canadian soccer and and and, and Toronto uh, soccer. What does that mean to you? You know, and, and getting making it to MLS and and, and playing across the country. Uh, yeah. what, what is it? You know, what does it represent to you to even also you know play in the states as well? No, yeah, obviously being from Toronto, um, I could tell you from point by period kids just want to be a part of MLS now I remember me growing up back when I was like 10 11 we didn't have teams like Toronto FC to look forward to and, and you know be like hey there's a team in my city that's playing professional soccer I grew up obviously in the Premier League era Arsenal the Men United the Men's Cities so so now knowing that I'm a player from Toronto that's playing professionally and also there's obviously that the league is where it's at now I have to be a good example for kids coming up in my area to like say, hey, look, this is Raheem Edwards. This is the, rep, the the path he took, the way he carries himself. So I always have to be on 100. So for me, just pride to be from Toronto and, and, and be playing because I know there's so many Canadians my age, younger than me, that would be dying to be playing in the MLS, traveling and, and you know, experiencing the world the way I do through soccer. So it's amazing. Now, um, we're both from New York. We're massive Knicks fans. I'm a massive Knicks fan. Knicks are killing here, man. Knicks right, yo, we, we balling, baby. Man. I'm feeling pretty good. I love it. We're like, in, we're like in fifth wow. place, and everybody's like, yo, y'all are killing it. Of Just course. Right it's now. Of course. Of course. That's what it is. You so you're telling me before the season started, you thought you guys would be in fifth place? No chance. Not even no. close. <laughs> Dude, let me give you some insight. I do a joke on stage, right, when we started getting back on stage after, like, the COVID lockdowns. I have a Knicks mask. I used to say I would wear a Knicks mask because you can't catch shit with a Knicks mask. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I said it's called COVID nineteen, not COVID nineteen draft pick. <laughs> that was my <laughs> that was my bit. But I can't say no more because we balling. You're but balling. there's a kid on the team named R.J. Barrett who's from Canada. Yeah, yeah. And I was talking to someone. I was like, when did Canada start balling? And my buddy who's from Toronto said, yeah. Yo, when Vince Carter showed up to the Raptors, oh, yeah. it made kids, yeah, culture shit. It made kids want to play. Yeah, culture. Who, shit. Well, for you, do you think that's true? Do you think that made a difference? One player made that big of a difference? Where now it seems like there's an entire generation exactly. of Canadian ballers. Exactly. But for us back in the day, I'm, I'm, I'm on the line and, and, you know, discredit anyone. But I think back in the day, there was guys that you obviously looked up to. Dwayne Di Rosario, even Atiba. Atiba's still going strong right now, playing Atiba. You also got Julian de Guzman, Jonathan de Guzman, which is actually, he's actually Canadian, not, not from the Dutch, but... But guys like, why is that bad? Like, that, those are the guys that we looked up to as well, too. So now it seems like there's a whole influx of young players. There, there's You can pick one from the corner. I, obviously, I, as you heard, Brampton. Brampton's producing a lot of young talent. Um, this, the, the general Toronto area is producing a lot of talent. So there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of competition. And it's really good for the for the city, the, the country, and this MLS soccer in general. Yeah, so what I, do you think watching someone like Alfonso Davies, right? At that yeah, now Alfonso, Alfonso, Alfonso's now the the head the head of what all these Canadian kids look look after. Like he's a yeah. he won the Champions League. He was arguably the left the best left back during that year. So that's 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 amazing for me for for kids to look and see this kid this guy's Canadian. He's not from Europe. He's not from yeah. this part. Of it. He's Canadian and he's killing it. So so that's. For me, that's just the best part about it. That got young kids to look up now and look at the, the, the guys like Alfonso and be like, "Hey, I'm I'm from the same area as this guy, so it's good." It's great because there is a uh, you know being to, to see a, a, a Canadian, even just like in that conversation. You know, Best exactly. left back yeah, in the exactly. world, crazy, raising Champions crazy. League. Uh, yeah, also yeah. crushing it on TikTok. The dude, I heard, I heard. Great I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a little bit older, so I'm not really on TikTok. <laughs> but I know, I know, I know how Alfonso yeah. is. So he's probably killing it on the TikTok. Hey, it's Tristan Blackman, and I just kicked it with the cool games. You got to obviously um, uh, make your debut after LAFC and uh, in the MLS season uh, ju just began. The uh, the experience there. It, it's I, I want to talk. I want to go through your career uh, a, a little bit because you're a young dude and you've gotten to you got a lot of experience and, and played for a, a couple teams. It, is that a a feeling of you know sometimes it, like we had Kai Kamara on who's played for a lot of teams oh, yeah. as well and, and he there's there's there, there's that bit of a feeling of like oh you know it'd be nice to be settled in one place but For then sure. it's also nice that all these 
you know, GMs want me. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So yeah. how's that balance for you? Yeah, it's this, it's this finding the silver line. Like, obviously, it, it, it's player preference. Some players would obviously want to settle down and be somewhere for three, four, three, five years. It also depends on the player. Does the player have family? Does he is he by himself? Yeah. But for me, honestly, I'm um, it, it's been a, like an incredible experience to be in different organizations, different cities, seeing a lot of different stuff. It's a it's a cultural shock. Like honestly, to, for it's going from even state to state, like Minnesota to Chicago is like maybe what a state aside and just seeing this being there and it's every, and taking everything in is just, it's really, really cool. You know? So, so I'm pretty much global stateside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know you're a, I know you're a Toronto guy, but you also played in Montreal. Montreal is my second favorite city in oh, the yeah, world. Yeah. But those are also pretty big rivals. Like oh, did, yeah. is there, is there even a cultural shock for you? Someone from Toronto going and playing in Montreal? Cause it's such a different city than anywhere else in North America. Yeah, it's different. The city's difference in the sense that it gives you a European vibe, huh? Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it gives you the European vibe. But yeah, the 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 feud between not just Toronto and Montreal, it's just Ontario and Quebec, which is the provinces, which are for you guys the states. It's just yeah. like we don't really usually get along with each other. So me going there, it was it was no, it was it wasn't really called, like anything culturally shocking or anything like that. But obviously they speak a lot of French and whatnot. But it's Montreal is a very nice city. I tell people every time I went. I enjoyed my time since when I went there. It was phenomenal. Like Montreal is a really, really good city. A really good city. But how do the fans embrace you, knowing that yeah. you? Yeah, they, they made jokes. What, what yeah, like? They made jokes. They made jokes for sure. Especially, <laughs> yeah, they teased me a bit, but it was it, it was it was all in, in, in fair sport. So so it was good. It was good. Okay. Yeah. Was there like a little added, you know, sort of umph when you played against uh, Toronto? You're like, I want to score against this team because most people may not even realize you came up through. Toronto FC two and yeah. got signed to the top tier. So right. like that's like your club, right? You yeah. came up through the ranks and all of yeah. a sudden you're playing against them. Did you like, I'm on a ball out, let them know what they do. Oh yeah, for sure. Them. Yeah. It gives, it gives you a little bit of extra, extra motivation, even being the four one Derby too, but like playing against your old team, especially a team that you've been where it basically grew you up to be who you are in the professional, in the professional yeah, world yeah. in terms of so in soccer. But yeah, those games get me fired up. I don't, I don't need no motivation. Okay. When uh, you're playing Toronto, are you listen to Drake or are you listen to like Tressa or somebody <laughs> like that? You go, uh, you go I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. I, I like that you know Tressa. That, that, that's cool points for you, for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when we're, uh, we're on the road, Alexis, it, he puts these Canadian rappers. And I'm like, where are you what? getting these players, bro? <laughs> Yo, I, even I was know. like, I got hooked on these two dudes, uh, K Money and Casper. Yeah, K Money were Casper. brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, Yo, they're I was like, yo, they're dropping some fire music. Fire, I went to jail. Toronto, the Toronto music, music scene. scene. The Toronto music scene is really, really, really good, man. You have a lot of good rappers, a lot of good artists. Just like the Toronto soccer, soccer, soccer uh, um, area too. Like a lot of people don't know until they get to Toronto and they see our academies and our players. Like everywhere that I've been so far, they they always ask about our academies, saying like. Oh, Toronto's, Toronto's Academy is very, very good. I'm like, yeah, man, there's a lot of always here in Canada that like is kind of under the radar, our Academy. But our Academy is very, very good. Toronto's, yeah. Where yeah. do you play, though? I mean, half the year you're covered in snow. Where are you playing? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of indoor. It's a lot of indoor. Like, it, I would say in terms of states, what like weather-wise, which is really close to us, is is Chicago and, and Minnesota. So, like, from anywhere from May to the ending of September, it'll be really, really nice. Like, nice weather. It's like New York. You guys are from yeah, it's like yeah. New York. So when, after after September is it when it starts getting cold. And that's like, we have our indoor league for, what, two, three months. And then after, we transition over to the outdoor. So, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough to find space, places to play and stuff like that. Even off-season as a professional player, it's cold, right? So you got to find out ways to play. We also, real quick, we, we also heard that you were a, a big fan of, of DMX, uh, the late uh, DMX as well. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, right, yeah. this is uh, obviously is very tragic and sad. A lot of us grew up Absolutely. listening to DMX. But why, you know, how did you feel when uh, when that happened? No, it was yeah, it was it was. Um, I I heard it obviously through Twitter, through media, with with him being yeah. on life support. Obviously, I was praying that that it didn't happen. Once I found out, I was just like. It was more of a thank you, like an appreciative thank you for for being who he is, who he is. He was always true to himself, DMX, and he was always himself no matter what circumstances or what ever came his way. So like the authentic authenticity of DMX is just, is what made me like you know gravitate right. from before. So like may his soul rest in peace, obviously.
How big a fan were you? Because I remember when I was young and like Rough Riders Anthem came out, I was trying to pop wheelies on my bicycle. No, <laughs> hurt my back. Same, same, same. I always wanted the Rough Rider jacket, like the, the biker jacket with the, with the R in the back. My name's Raheem, right? The R. The R. <laughs> Fire. I might even get it now, man. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick yeah, but you want to sweat in LA? Get that. Yeah, get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, right, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm in LA. I'm thinking I'm in LA. Like, so yeah, yeah. God. yeah, no, save it for the winter in LA. Yeah, exactly. I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save it for the off season. Yeah. For that one day where it's cold. Dude, I remember I was, uh, there's a high school in Newark that there were the Rough Riders, but like Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders. So it's spelled R-O-U-G-H. And as soon as Rough Riders Anthem came out, somebody spray painted over it and spelled it like R-U-F-F-R-Y-E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. I'm like, oh, we made a change, yo. Fire, fire, fire. talking about uh, Toronto a little bit, but you did get a chance to win an MLS Cup while, while you were uh, with Toronto FC. The uh, I know, you know, especially getting to play for, for several clubs, I know, you know, this is clearly the, the trophy everyone wants to win and, and get there. But to, one, get the opportunity to win it at a young age, it, it is, uh, you know, it, it, I feel like there's almost a little bit of you can you can tell stories to you like you got to tell other play, even older players you gotta be like, look this is what you got to do to get there you know what I mean like yeah. you're already like <laughs> this is better oh, you trying to win before you retire I got you <laughs> well, what is that the I mean obviously everybody has that motivation uh, yeah. uh, to get there but what what experience do you do you bring uh, you know even to LAFC or to any club that that you already got to, you know got to win that trophy yeah just uh the, I, I I think like a lot, I get asked this question a lot. And I, I tell people like the standard, the standard of the team, not just me, it's the standard of the team and, and how we're supposed to be as a team and how we're, our mentality and stuff like that. I, I got so much, so much mental training and, and, and stability from Toronto FC. So I know what it takes to win and to be a winner and, and what we need to do, change the mentality or anything like that. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think this mentality of, of the way we train, play, and our thought process, and and how we you know develop with each other, I think that's what I could bring. That's why I, I learned from winning the MLS Cup. And I know Bob Bradley, yeah. you know, hammers that home with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you've played for two very legendary, yeah. intense yeah. coaches. Yeah. Greg Vanny was intense, and Bob Bradley's intense. Yeah. Who's the most intense? <laughs> Definitely Bob, but, but Bob in a great way. It's not like an, an intense where it's intimidating. It's intense in a way that gets you going. So I think Bob is really, really, really good at that. He knows when to flip the switch and, and, and whatnot. So I think, yeah, Bob is, Bob is really intense, but in a very, very good way. And what, we what? know that people in Toronto are nice, right? We, we've we yeah, been in really Canada, nice. have manners. Yeah. Now, I'm born and raised in Newark, New Jersey. Bob Bradley is from Jersey. Jersey people, we carry ourselves a little differently. Yeah, Sometimes no, we not. say the for nicest sure. things we say sound aggressive. Have you noticed that about Bob? <laughs> yeah, for sure. percent. <laughs> percent. But I'm the same way too. So that's why I can gravitate towards him. And that's why I get along with him so much. But Bob is a great guy. There, there's, there, there, I can't really say anything bar- bad about Bob. Bob is just... He's a guy that loves soccer. He's always into it. Like even when even when we're gone and when I know he's still on soccer, he's just like his he's just like his son. Mike too. Mike is they live in pre yeah. soccer, man. It's 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 great. It's great to be around for sure. I I, I do want to ask very quickly. Uh, I want to ask very quickly about the 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 the, the, the opening game. Uh, obviously against uh, Austin FC, there was a, a very controversial decision or mistake. Bob Bradley did accept responsibility for for subbing out uh, Carlos Vela. Uh, it was a it was a strange thing. You're not used to uh, seeing that. There was some miscommunication. But what did what did the the what did everyone think? I mean, it was just a strange <laughs> thing. So I, obviously, I don't know their situation about how it went about. So I can't speak on that. But I can speak on what I see. I, I just knew, I thought he was injured, to be fair. I thought yeah. Carlos was injured. And after I seen uh, Poku, um, Mahalo, as we call him, come on. And after I seen Bello started walking, like he looked like kind of confused. I was like, what's going on here? So I guess, <laughs> I guess it was just a, a miscommunication. I just thought Bello was actually injured. So yeah. 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 
It's so it's so weird because we're watching and we're like, Bob is going. I thought he was going to turn red. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, because even he had blinking. to do the the interview during the game, and he's like, "Oh, I made a mistake." And you just it was yeah, just that's, a, that's the type of guy Bob is. It, Bob Bob will yeah. take all credit if he messes up. He'd be the first one to say it. So that's what that's what I love about him, man. The, the accountability on his part is incredible, incredible. Okay. I gotta ask because we were looking at your social media. And I was seeing that you starting to get into some uh, J ones. You're getting into some ones, some Jordans. You yeah. really get into the SB game, right? No, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm heavy in the SB game. I'm heavy in the SB. Game. All right. Yeah. So I got a question, right? You a Toronto dude, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say Drake says you could go on tour with him, mm -hmm. right? And you get his Nike connects. You get any Nike you ever no. want, pre-release, no. pull up. I know you're gonna ask. I know you're gonna ask. No chance. I'm not giving them up. I can't give them up. I can't. Or Canada wins a World Cup. Which one do you pick? <laughs> and you're on the team. And you score the winning goal. You're not done. <laughs> Which one? Oh, come on. I have to take the World Cup. I have to take the World Cup. I have to. Really? Yeah. If I wasn't playing, uh, maybe I would. <laughs> you would be like, y'all tried your best. Yo. You know, yeah. We're yeah. holding the next year, so hey, no. <laughs> I can't hear you over all these flexing ass Johns I got. <laughs> no, but for, oh, sure, for, sure, for sure Canada winning the, winning the World Cup. That would, be, psh, that would be a day and a half. That, yeah, if that happens. I'm not saying it can't. It definitely can happen. We have, we have the confidence now. Uh, our team our team is shaping up nicely now. Talent's starting to come out of Canada. Not even for this cycle, the next two, three cycles, I think Canada will be really, really strong. So, yeah. Okay. All uh, right. We, we, had a, we have a couple questions from uh, our fans, our support. We have a supporters group called Gully Squad. We, you know, Gully Squad. Yep, keep, yep. keep it gully. Let's go. All, All right. right. That's what we so, do. <laughs> so well, we had a question. Uh, Alexis, he is a pizza expert. And uh, Justin Friedberg, uh, he asked this question. He's a Philadelphia Union fan. He said, what city that you've played in has the oh, best pizza? Yeah. Um, this is tough. I'm going to give you an uh, answer like this. So in terms of general state, Okay. Chicago by far. There's there's no debate for me. Okay. New York is good too, but I haven't really bashed myself in New York. You didn't play in New York. It's just the cities you've played yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the best pizza I've had was in Minnesota. In Minnesota. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a good times? place. It was, it was a good place. times? No, it's called uh, Baludo. Baludo. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I know if, that one. If you're from... If you're if you're from if you're from if you're from the uh, Minnesota area and you want to try pizza, go to Baludos. It, it'll change your life. It's Argentinian. It's Argentinian. It's something yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Us, yeah. <laughs> Baludos is also like a uh, like a slang. Right? Yeah, it's a slang like donkey. Like you're donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's a cool yeah, little. You, it's a cool little shop. Yeah. We didn't know Raheem was so international. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, Justin Freeberg also wants to know. Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, Dimitri, who's a massive. Montreal fan, and he wants to know, and I guess answer this in the best way you can without getting in trouble. Yeah. Uh, why do you think it didn't work out for you exactly in Montreal? Um, I think I think I would say difference of of um, of tactics and and the way I was being used. I feel like so. I think I feel like the way I was being used wasn't as it was as obviously it was a different change from Toronto. So I had to get used to that. So I think it was more that. And after they seen their, they seen an opportunity to, to to move to move me on and give me a fresh start somewhere else where I could probably be utilized more. So I think it was just that. It wasn't anything crazy or or stuff like that. So cool. I, but for the fact, I love Montreal. I love the city of Montreal. I love yeah, the Montreal yeah. people. Even though I'm from Ontario, I love Montreal people. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> it's it's also even even watching you, uh, especially we were watching you a lot uh, your early years in, especially in Toronto. I'm like, yeah. did, you're a, a you're, creative player a great on the ball and it's just it when I, I like seeing raheem edwards highlights that's all so i'm i'm yeah, always yeah. pulling for you dude i'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make some more man I'm yeah to more. it's interesting yeah. too because you I, I forgot which you when you were traded yeah for like four it was uh to, to chicago to chicago uh, four hundred thousand yeah. in tam that's that was big. That, that was big yeah, that's big money. money. That's big that was, less that money. Was, that was, that was <laughs> that's money. That's money. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. The uh, anything else? Oh, and then we just had a uh, Nicole Hack. Uh, she she a big oh, on the fire. Yeah, I know, Nicole, I okay. Yeah. Nicole. Yeah. There's a she's uh, taking a photo with you that she sent to us as well, which is cool. Uh, but she said, uh, "What opportunities are you looking for with LAFC that you may have not had with uh, other teams?" And she and she mentions again that you were very much appreciated in Chicago. Yeah. No. No. I, yeah. I feel the love in Chicago. Chicago for me. That's where my son was born. I'm in love with the city of Chicago. 
I love I I always hope the best for Chicago Chicago Fire fans and and everything like that. But um, being here in the LAFC now, I think me being I'm gonna be utilized more as an attack like as an attacking piece, an attacking threat. So here is gonna be more switching my mentality and and how I think about the game. Bob has already been instilling instilling in me to be mentally engaged and whatnot. So they're gonna push me hard and they're gonna they're gonna make sure that I'm I'm focused and I'm ready to to go at all times. Hey, Edwards, dude, thank you so much for joining us today, man. It's been, 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 been fun, guys. Honestly, it's been really I appreciate fun. it. Okay. Did you think we were going to drop a Pressa reference in this? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the, that's, the, that's the surprise of the day. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. That's Anything crazy. Anything yeah. could happen here, okay? Yeah. We'll do our homework. Right. 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 Uh, uh, we uh, digging uh, in the crates, my Jay. Right, is there anything you want to let people know about before we sign off? Uh, no, you can just follow me on my socials. My name is Raheem, R-V with a V-H-E-M. And after, I don't know if it's, it's an underscore. Yeah, it's an underscore. And an underscore. I don't even know my socials, but yeah, there it is. Yeah. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, ch- uh, check him out. Obviously, watch him at uh, LAFC week in and week out. Uh, okay. So let us do uh, uh, just another reminder as well. Follow at Soccer Cooling it's on all social platforms. Follow at Fubo Sports and subscribe to the Fubo Sports YouTube channel for full episodes of the show. Uh, okay. Let's do uh, a couple other pieces of business. We have to do our Golasso GIF. Uh, we got to, you know, you know, you know, everybody, you know, you may. You can speak, you can not speak, you can do whatever you want. How are you celebrating a goal on this show? Alexis, do you want to give him a scenario? That right, here's he a scenario. You yeah. get call, you get subbed in in the in the 90th minute, right? Yeah. Uh, and you score a goal that wins Canada the gold cup. <laughs> right? You've got your girls in the audience, your kids in the audience, and it just so happened that Drake just put on the, the, the TV right when you did that. How are you celebrating? What's your GIF? What's my GIF? Uh, that's a tough one, man. I'm, I'm kind of wild. Like, if I, I, like if I scored a 90th minute and we won a, a cup, yeah, I'm, I think the shirt is coming off <laughs> and, the, and the shorts are coming off, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can we get Fubo to animate that with a blur? The shorts and the shirt is coming off. All you're going to see me is in my underwear and my my socks, man. And I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to go nuts. And that, and that GPS joint. Yeah, the GPS. <laughs> you going to look like Brandy Chastain out there. <laughs> no, you guys are hilarious, man. All right, perfect. Uh, Raheem, dude, thank you so much uh, uh, for doing this, man. We really appreciate it. Nah, no uh, I absolutely cry. Best of luck this season uh, with LAFC. Uh, all right, let us end the show the way we normally do, as is tradition. So for Raheem Edwards, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. And together, what are we? The, the Cool, cool game. Game.